Hey everyone, we've had a lot of comments on the Turtle Topper video over the past couple years, so I figured I would shoot another one just to show you where it's at. I think it's been either two or three years since we posted the original video, and it's still going strong and Sammy's happy. Um, we made a few changes over the time that it's been here. Uh, unfortunately, the um, uh, basking area o over here, which used to extend all the way past the half point tank and, uh, of the tank, and then the ramp would go down there. Um, when he was sliding off of it, he would smash right into the glass on the other side. So we had to take off one piece and make that a little bit smaller. Um, right now our water level is lower than it should be. I uh, need to top that off. Um, otherwise, he's been doing real well. We haven't had any issues with the uh, gravel or anything like that, which I know some people get very wound up about. Uh, changes we've made, I think, since the first video. Um, got a higher-end heater. We're still using the same uh, Reyna um, filter. Uh, lighting, we went to this guy, this kind of dual setup uh, with the bracket. Now the bracket normally comes with like double-sided tape to put on the back of the aquarium. Uh, in this case, it's mounted on the back of the turtle topper. So uh, we put some screws in there. Um, the lights, so these were the light fixtures that came with the original aquarium tank. Um, I took the fluorescence out and put a strip of LEDs in there instead, um, which is kind of neat and uh, uses a little bit less electricity. They can also change color and stuff, which is cool. Um, our fluorescent lights on the back, which light the bottom of the tank, are still doing really well. Um, haven't had any problems there, even though they're not aquarium lights at all. Um, a lot of people have asked how they go in. I don't know if you can really see, but there you are. You basically just have some, they're under cabinet lights from I don't know, Walmart or something with little L brackets to kind of screw them to the back of the, uh, the topper. And then in the middle is where our water comes through from our filter right there. Everything's pretty dusty back there. Nobody ever sees it. Um, the plastic egg crate has worked well, although you can see a little bit of melted here under the heat lamp. Um, unfortunately, I need the heat lamps down that low to get the basket temp up to where it needs to be. Um, but so far, so good. And the topper itself, uh, there's been no signs of rot or anything. The paint has held up really well. Um, I painted the rails. I think in the original video, these uh, plastic rails were still tan. I painted those black so they blend in a little better. And you can see on the back here, uh, paint's worn off and everything just from this guy sliding around. But um, no problems at all. It's still uh, holding together quite well. And... Uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We get lots of questions on the other one, and I try to reply to them as I can. There you go. Bye.